Welcome to Rent Post. And today, I'm going to show you how to add advanced late fee schedules, how to edit these late fee schedules, and also how to record some of these payments. So, before we begin, I'd also like to show you at the top here, Rent Post notifies us that we have four delinquent tenants. So, if any time you want to check what these are, we can select here and it gives us all the information. So, to add an advanced late fee schedule, we'll go to the unit we would like. And if you go down here and select the tenant, a banner will pop up by selecting that blue button. We'll select Edit the Tenant Profile, and you can see here is where the late fees are. Now, when you're adding a tenant, Rent Post has an automatic, simple, one-time fee. So, we want to add an advanced fee. So, we'll select Advanced here, and you can see that we've already created one. To edit this one, we select Edit and we can change any of the information at any time. But we want to add a new one. So, we'll select Add New, we'll create a name, and the nicknames can be anything you like. You can create one that is a description of the type of late fee schedule you are creating, or anything that would make sense to you. So here we're going to do $50 one time, and $10 every five days after. So, we have the nickname, so now we're going to enter it into the system. So we'll do $50 for the first time late fee. We're going to select a grace period of three days. And one time is selected here. Okay, so now to add the $10 reoccurring. So we'll select the Add button. Enter in $10. And then select the days for five. And then select reoccurring. So. What this does is, is three days after the rent is due, $50 will be charged. And then five days after that $50 charge, $10 will be added every five days thereafter. Okay, so once we have it set up, we select Save, and it adds it to the late fee schedules. Now, you can see that it's not in use yet, so we'll close out of this. We'll go back to the tenant profile, select the fee schedule, and select the one we just created, and update the tenant. Okay, I can show you on one more, so we'll select the tenant, we'll edit, and then change the late fee schedule to the new one we just created, and update that tenant as well. Say for instance, you need to add a specific custom late fee to an individual tenant, all we do is we select the unit, here's our tenant profile, we will select the banner again, we'll select add adjust charges. Okay, and you can see here that already we have the rental revenue for $12.50, that is for March and April, and has the bill date and the due date. To add another one at any time, we'll select the add button, here we'll select the charge type, and it can be anything, we have a late fee here. Um, we have an application fee or a pet fee, so we'll select whichever one we'd like. We'll select the late fee, the amount of $50, and then you, here we can add a description. And here is where we will select the bill date um, and or the due date. And of course, by selecting the dates, a calendar will pop up, makes it a little easier to select which date you would like. And once we have that selected, we just click Save Charges. Okay, now, say for instance we get a payment, we open up the tenant screen again, select record payment, and you see that we have the late fee that we just added, we get the payment, payment amount of $50, and you can see that it automatically puts it towards that fee because it is due prior to the rent, select save payment, and we're all done. And thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Where we created advanced late fee schedules, we added these to tenants, we also created individual fees for tenants. So I hope you enjoyed it and please check out our other videos.